That's Josh and I in the Arena de Verona. Crazy times. Yeah, it was crazy. We spent a whole month in Belgrade at the Serbian National Ballet Company's HQ. It was a really incredible process. 30 days of pure creation. The process was amazing because a group of professional dancers that didn't really know each other prior to the rehearsal period really became united and it's like we became the Romeo and Juliet family. Yeah. Okay. Be inspired. Be inspired. So currently still in Belgrade, three days of rehearsals before we premiere Romeo and Juliet in Verona. Before the premiere, we woke up at four in the morning, ready to go to Verona. We all meet in the lobby at half past four. Everyone is beyond tired. Shattered. How are you feeling, mate? <laughs> we get on this bus all together at 5 a.m. and head towards the airport in Belgrade. There was a great kind of energy slash tiredness. So basically all the dancers got very silly and here's some footage to show you what happened. We're gonna zoom in. Yeah, there we go, Italian and British style. Our first flight from Serbia to Italy was going from Belgrade to Rome. And that was fine. But then our second flight going from Rome to Verona, this one couldn't board the flight. They'd overbooked the flight. So I tried to board the flight and obviously I couldn't get on there because it was fully booked. So myself and a fellow dancer, we had to wait in the airport for another five hours. It really was horrendous. So I boarded the flight and left Josh behind. And then when I landed in Verona, my luggage wasn't there. They'd left my luggage in Rome with Josh. <laughs> Eventually, when I arrived in Verona, my suitcase was on the conveyor belt, but it had a wheel inside the suitcase. It had been crushed. <laughs> <laughs> so, in a nutshell, getting from Belgrade to Verona was an absolute mission. Verona! We arrived into Verona. Yay! We're in Verona and it's absolutely beautiful. It's incredible. Look at this. The buildings are amazing. It's the day of the premiere. We couldn't believe that this day actually arrived. We went down to breakfast. We had the most amazing scrambled eggs and prosciutto. You An Italian buffet with black coffee. <laughs> Once we'd taken class and got warm, we went over to the Arena di Verona to do a stage call. However, the night before, there was an opera on. During this whole time, throughout the night and day, they were taking the opera set out and putting the Romeo and Juliet set in. We were walking around the arena and we just saw the crane lifting up part of the, the Romeo and Juliet balcony over the top wall and down into the center of the arena. And that arena is huge. It was quite a crazy feat. And this kind of made us a bit more anxious because we were like, oh my God, this is actually happening. There were 
were people everywhere giving directions of where to go or where not to go. There were cross languages of Serbian and Italian and English just all mixed amongst one another. So it was kind of this just crazy frenzy. If anything, there were times of us thinking, is it going to happen? I don't quite get the magnitude of this. It's no. unreal. We had 25 minutes on stage for a placing that should have been at least two hours. There was no technical call, so you didn't know where to stand on stage. And bear in mind, when we were staging the show within the 25 minutes we only had, it was in the daylight. So we'd actually never rehearsed this ballet at night. It was pretty much a gamble. Sorry. Just spoiled the camera angle I'm there. I'm so sorry. Thomas. I'll leave. <laughs> it's like, I was like, you that? Yes, brother! <laughs> yes, man. <laughs> Ross is amped right now. Pump it! <laughs> yeah, baby. You got it. Yes. <laughs> You're welcome. Good night. <laughs> Okay, so makeup is applied and we're side stage and the audience is filling up. We're ready to perform to the to this look. look. It's about half full so far and we have about half an hour till the premiere opens up. To receive that amount of attention, it must be performed again. We're ready for 2020 touring. Shh. Might have not meant to say that. Who cares? Just some amazing memorabilia from the production. This was our pass to get into the Arena di Verona. It was impossible to get access backstage without one of these, so these are uh, gold dust. <laughs> we also have one of the programs, I think it's a special edition one because it's super shiny. It's been signed by the whole cast. It's so nice, like notes and nice messages from people. Yeah, it's, it's a real special uh, book to have. We also have a couple of these, which were flyers out and about in the middle of the city. Thank you for tuning in to our behind the scenes of the making of Romeo and Juliet. We hope this showcased some of the reality behind the scenes and that's what the Ballet Twins is about. Hit that like, hit that notification bell so everything that we post you get notified and subscribe. <laughs> Even though we are very professional when we're on stage, sometimes backstage Dancers can have a lot of fun. As the group, we decided to get t-shirts made for everybody in the production of Romeo and Juliet. They were a little bit small for us, so we had a trick of our sleeve. We had one way to stretch them. These, Go on, bloody, yeah. look at these bloody idiots. And look at the ballet twins stretching their t-shirts. What are you doing? Trying to do a double cabriole on one of these. Oh, geez, oh. oh. <laughs>